Are you willing to come up and give him some of this money for the wall? Because no. apparently that's the sticking no. point. No, nothing for the wall. We're talking about border security. Nothing the for the wall, but that means it's well, an we can go starter. through this all, uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. No. Anyway, how many more times can we say no? Trump campaigned on um, build that wall. Are you willing to tear that wall down? No, I'm, there will not be another foot of wall constructed in my administration, number one. Number two, what I'm going to focus on, and, the, and your, uh, uh, the fact is that somebody in this group written a lot about the border. Um, I'm going to make sure that we have border protection, but it's going to be based on making sure that we use high-tech capacity to deal with it. A few years later... Faced with a surge in illegal crossings, the Biden administration has announced it is waiving more than two dozen federal laws to add on to the border wall in southern Texas. NBC senior White House correspondent Gabe Gutierrez has the latest. And Gabe, tell us what we know about this uh, reversal. Hi, Howder. Good morning. This is a striking acknowledgement that changes are needed to stem the migrant influx at the southern border. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about some pretty surprising, but not really surprising news coming from the Biden administration, okay? Because after years of being told that building the wall is racist, okay? <laughs> that a wall in and of itself is xenophobic, okay? They use that to smear Trump uh, as a bigot. Uh, Biden, who I like to call Jim Crow Joe, <laughs> right? Uh, he's decided to go back to his old Dixiecrat roots and continue to build Trump's border wall okay this is what he's doing because the liberal city mayors of america who have gotten exactly what they wanted okay they said that they're sanctuary cities therefore they're now getting illegal immigrants sent to their cities from texas from the border because they said they wanted them now again they're boohoo whining and crying about how illegals are taking up all the resources right they are a strain on the social safety net and they have been begging the Biden administration for more resources, more money, and to also close the border. At least that's what Eric Adams and Kathy Hochul and the governor of Illinois have been doing. I mean, the uh, Brandon Johnson, the mayor of Chicago, right? He hasn't went as far as to actually ask for the border to be closed yet. I actually really think that that guy legitimately likes living with illegals, okay? He likes seeing his city be destroyed. But anyways... Um, now that, again, these Democrats in these inner liberal cities are boohoo whining and begging for help, Biden has decided to continue to build the border wall that Democrats said was racist, uh, even going as far as to waive 26 federal laws to allow border wall construction. So I want to talk about it, okay? But before I talk about it, I just want to let you guys know. Uh, the border is one of Biden's biggest problems, but also the economy is one of Biden's biggest problems. And that's why you're seeing so much volatility in the marketplace. That and the new BRICS gold backed currency that uh, is hell bent on taking down the dollar. Again, is why you should consider gold. Do you want to take control of your financial future, but you don't know where to start? Well, trust me, Noble Gold understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments makes it easy. Let's hear from actual Noble Gold Investment customers. Quote, the staff answer all my questions and help me every step of the way. Quote, no pressure, sales tactics, just honest guidance. Quote, secure my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options to see if you can diversify into gold and silver. And right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5-ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualifying accounts and rollovers. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless of five-star reviews. So why wait? Go to noblegoinvestments.com. That's noblegoinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And just remember, there's a risk with every investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. The administration is waiving more than two dozen federal laws to allow the construction of a border wall in South Texas as more cities along the border and in the north struggle to handle the influx of migrants coming from Latin America. 
Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorka is saying there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries. September marked the highest number of migrant encounters at the U.S.-Mexico border so far this year, with Border Patrol apprehending more than 200,000. In New York, the number of buses filled with migrants has nearly tripled in recent days. Nearly 600 people are arriving each day. The mayor is now on a four-day trip to South and Central America to deliver a message. We're going to tell them uh, that Coming to New York doesn't mean you're going to stay in a five-star hotel. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that the mere fact you come here, you automatically are going to be allowed to work. The mayor is also pushing to suspend the city's so-called right to shelter law, which mandates New York provide shelter for any homeless person. He says the city simply cannot house the 120,000 migrants who've arrived since last spring. Chicago also struggling, bracing for up to two dozen more buses of migrants sent from Texas by Governor Greg Abbott. The mayor now planning to visit the border. We need to go assess the situation, just like our team has gone to D.C., um, we need better coordination, quite frankly. Illinois' governor, in a letter this week, called on President Biden to address what he calls a humanitarian crisis, citing the federal government's, quote, lack of intervention and coordination. As for the border wall construction, it's for a limited area in South Texas, where about 245,000 migrants have entered this year. There's no timeline yet as to when that construction could start. Now, of course... The Affirmative Action Press Secretary, Krenz Jean-Pierre, was pressed on this new news from the Biden administration and the backtracking on building the border wall. And, uh, of course, she didn't really have much of an answer for why the Biden administration has been hypocritical on this issue. Take a look. Yeah, Peter. Great, I just want to follow up very quickly. You said that it's not new, but to be clear that this was posted on the Federal Register overnight on October 4th. So, just to be clear about this, the president earlier today said that he was asked, does the border wall work? He said no. But in this statement that was posted within the last 24 hours, the Department of Homeland Security Secretary says there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States. So who's right? The statement from the DHS secretary overnight or the president's comments today saying they don't work? So a couple of things. Yes, it showed up on the register today, but the announcement, it, this is not new. This is from six months well, ago. Well, it is new because the waving of the laws actually didn't happen. <laughs> but it was, it, this is something that uh, was out back, that the DHS was put out back in in uh, in, in it six months ago. Well, so wait, and now wait, they announced... Did they no. wave the laws six months ago? Well, what I'm saying is DHS announced this back in, in June that the the agency would do so. They actually said that they would do that so back in DHS. forward with it today, but the initial announcement was six months ago by waiving the laws. So that's what's new today. Understood. So yes. the statement when this he says make presently sure clear was filed. So when he said there is presently, are you saying when he says there is presently, he was referring to six months ago or referring to the date of which it was filed? What I can forward. tell you is DHS announced this back in June that they were going to move forward with this. That's what I can share with you. That's what I, I know is to be true and is to be fact. Look, I can speak for the president. The president said he was asked directly. He doesn't believe a border wall is effective. Does he have a disagreement with his Department of Homeland I, Security I, Secretary? What I can tell you, what the president, I, have, I, I want to tell you what the president said and what your colleague asked him. He said, no, he doesn't believe that the I border wall is effective. I asked speaking in direct contradiction to what his own Homeland I know, I hear Security you. Secretary I hear says. you. I'm speaking for the president. I'm saying that he has said that he does not believe a, a border wall is effective. That's what he was asked. He has said that for some time now, and it still remains to be the case. He asked, right, he asked Congress multiple times. His team has asked Congress to reappropriate the funds. They refuse to do that. We're going to comply by well, law. You asked the president on our behalf, then, in the absence of our ability to do that, whether he disagrees with the statement that there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct I'm happy to barriers. take that back. Yeah, so is it amazing how the left gaslights us when it comes to these issues okay where we know that as conservatives we're right okay because we use common sense we have common sense uh if you legislate with common sense we would not have as many issues as we have again it only made sense it was common sense to have some type of barrier some type of wall even though it won't keep everybody out at least have something there to prevent people from just being able to walk across the border and to come into the country right again democrats 
claim that this was racist, xenophobic, and hateful simply to suggest that we have a wall. Now, all these people want to build a wall, right? Including the Biden administration, who has routinely denied that there's even a border crisis, right? There's no issue with the border. I mean, as you heard there, Biden is still sticking with his guns and playing the American people like they're dumb. This is how dumb they think you are. This is how stupid he thinks you are. He says, well, I don't believe walls are effective. I don't think walls work while his administration actively tries to build a wall, <laughs> right? Again, it's amazing. Again, this is how stupid they think you are, okay? This is the level of gaslighting that comes from Democrats. It's amazing stuff, okay? I mean, Kamala Harris, who is supposed to be the border czar, and I keep bringing it up because, again, I'm just flabbergasted at how that just went away, right? Like, this is not a thing anymore, apparently. But Kamala Harris hasn't said anything about it. Again, uh, Alejandro Mariorcas, he has been in denial about there being a, a border crisis. Uh, Ayanna Presley went on Jake Tapper's show and claimed that the border was not open, okay, uh, or that the border was secure. Again, absolutely lunatic, crazy stuff from Democrats who specialize in gaslighting people, okay? Now, a part of the 26 federal laws that were repealed uh, in order to have this uh, done uh, you have the Clean Air Act, <laughs> the Safe Drinking Water Act, and the Endangered Species Act. Okay, these are federal laws that were weighed by DHS to make way for funds to be used from a congressional appropriation in 2019 for border wall construction. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, what Biden did here is that he essentially is using money that was already supposed to be used, okay, or put aside for border wall construction uh, in order to finish some parts of the wall, right, that, you know, illegals are walking through because the, the wall is not finished, okay, so they need to actually finish some parts of the wall to prevent migrants from coming through that portion of the border. Fascinating stuff. Now, again, if Trump would have waived 26 uh, federal laws in order to build the border, right? They be calling the man a, a fascist, okay? They be calling him a fascist. They be saying he's a dictator, okay? Uh, they be saying that he doesn't like the air being clean. He wants dirty air. He wants dirty drinking water. He wants to kill animals, right? This is what they be saying, okay? This is what they would be saying, uh, you know, if Trump did this. I mean, this is what they said, right? This is exactly what they said when Trump wanted to build a wall, right? Again, it's truly fascinating stuff how the Biden administration, all of a sudden, they become racist when it's politically convenient. But my point here for this video, guys, the real point I want to drop home is this. Biden is politically desperate, right? I mean, he's doing it because you have a bunch of these liberal cities. You have actual liberals, Democrat voters that are upset with the situation at the border, okay? And he has to make it seem like he's doing something to fix the situation. I mean, you even have Eric Adams going all the way to Latin America to tell the illegals not to come, right? You're not going to get five-star hotels and uh, jobs, you know, if you come to New York City, which is the exact opposite, right, of what's actually happening, okay? They are going to get nice hotels and they're going to get jobs too if they come, but hey, he's going over there telling them don't come, okay? I mean, I'm just saying, um, they should be calling Eric Adams racist as well, too. I mean, this wet man traveled all the way to Latin America to tell him not to come, okay? How much bigotry does that take? But again, what you're seeing here, guys, again, is political desperation. And this type of political desperation is why I have advocated for Republicans to do what they need to do now to secure the border, not later. And what do I mean by that, okay? The time to act is not when Republicans take back control of Congress or if they take back control of Congress in 2024. We can't rely on that. We don't even know if that's going to happen, okay? Considering how some of these lunatics vote <laughs> in this country, we have no clue. So just allowing Biden to have an open border and not doing what Republicans can do to fix it, I think is unacceptable. And why do I say that? Well, the reason why is because, again, Biden's so politically desperate that he's trying to finish the border. What does that tell you? That tells you that if Republicans started screaming at the top of their lungs with actual legislation, and I'm talking about real immigration reform to fix the system to secure the border and to fix the system as a whole, they will have a lot of leverage to get that through Congress, especially with the shutdown coming up. Okay. I'm so serious about that, right? Th this problem is so big that Biden is going back on his word. 
Okay, again, you see people revolting in these liberal cities. Brandon Johnson is going to the border. That's how bad the problem is. And when the problem's at its worst, that's when you have the most leverage to act. I don't care about a Democrat Senate. I don't care about Joe Biden being in the White House. I don't care who takes credit for fixing it. OK, or whether or not fixing it would eliminate a political issue for Republicans to campaign on. I don't care about any of that. I want the illegals out. Right. I want them deported. OK, I want the border closed. I want the problem fixed. That's all I care about. I don't care about these political games. And the Republicans have more leverage than ever. We don't know if they're going to get more leverage than what's happening right now to do it. Because we know that as soon as Biden and Democrats are up out of office, they're going to change their tune on this. Right. They're going to be at the border, boohoo, whining and crying, showing pictures and images of, you know, children and families in these shelters that look terrible. And they're, they're going to be screaming and crying about how Republicans are so cold hearted uh, when it comes to uh, securing the border, right. And illegal immigration. Look, you're never going to have a great opportunity, but the best opportunity is when the situation's at its worst. So I think that Republicans should, uh, essentially stick to their guns when it comes to the border. If they actually want to close it, show up, show the American people now, Hey, we have legislation to have comprehensive immigration reform where we're going to fix the problem and we're going to do it now. And again, you can demand so much more in this situation uh, than you could before because people are not all about having illegals come over here and stay, right? And people don't want that anymore, okay? So again, you have leverage on the Democrats. Uh, you should use that leverage. And if Democrats don't want to get on board with comprehensive immigration reform that involves uh, securing the border and also mass deportations because we need to get some of these people up out of here, right? We need both, okay, at the very least. If Democrats don't want to do it and they don't want to fix the system, then, hey, let the government shut down and then point the finger at the Democrats and say, hey, they don't want to close the border and they don't want the government to be open, right? We're trying to fix problems and they don't want to fix problems, okay? Again, I personally think that now is the time to try to push for something when it comes to fixing this issue and it has to be Republican led. OK, we have all the momentum in the world when it comes to the polls, when it comes to what's going on in these liberal cities, when it comes to what's happening at the border. You have the momentum. You don't know if you're going to have the momentum next year. You don't know if you're going to expand your lead in the House. You don't know if you're going to take back the Senate and you don't know if you're going to take back the White House. OK, now it's the time to act. We need comprehensive immigration reform. We need to finally sit down and fix the system. It's not going to happen uh, if we continue to not put massive pressure on Democrats to act, I don't care if there's not a Republican in the house or if they don't have a Republican Senate, we should be proposing, uh, immigration reform, closing the border, mass deportations and screaming at the top of our lungs about it and saying the only thing stopping us from closing the border and, uh, essentially fixing this problem is are Democrats, right? And if they won't, don't want to get on board with it, let them take the political hit, okay, going into the uh, next election. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there's a lot of leverage here. Republicans should take advantage of it. Um, and you're, again, you're seeing the desperation from the Biden administration considering how they're doing something that they <laughs> promised they wouldn't do. But again, they're forced to do it because this is reality, right? It's just common sense. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.